Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top 10 tips for rocking your labor. These are things I wish I would have known, so I'm sharing them with you. I hope you leave today's video informed, inspired, encouraged, and ready to take on your labor like the boss mama who you are. Tip number one is about your OB or the facility you plan to deliver at. I would encourage you to ask them tons and tons of questions and if you have specific things that you want or you've dreamed of having a water birth or something like that, then you need to ask them, do you do water births here? Um, or if you want maybe a professional photographer to come in and photograph your birth live, then you want to make sure that they allow photography and that they have water births available because not all hospital policies will line up for, with the things that you have dreamed of for your birth experience. Also, when picking an OB, it's really important that you make sure you're picking someone whose personality and birthing practices line up with what you want. Um, make sure if you want the doctor you see at each of your checkups, if you want them to be there for your actual birth, make sure you ask those kinds of questions because that's what I wanted is the person I saw and the person that I'm comfortable with and that's the one that I knew. I wanted them to be the one who was delivering the little baby. Aww. Yeah, so make sure you ask those kinds of questions. My second tip is bring your own music and you could even bring like a little portable speaker as long as that's something your hospital allows because for me, music gets me motivated and gets me going and if you've watched my labor and delivery video, you will know that I <laughs> danced and rapped to Nicki Minaj a majority of my labor because let's just be honest, who doesn't get pumped up by rap? My third tip would be to bring an aerobic ball. If your hospital doesn't offer one, then you should bring your own. It's a lot more helpful than you would think to have something just to bounce on and help kind of bring the baby down a little bit more into your birthing canal. So having the aerobic ball to just kind of bounce on and roll around on, it really helps open up your hips and just encourage the baby to come down just a little bit more. <laughs> so this is my personal advice and this is tip number four. And this tip is to just get the epidural. <laughs> but I only say this because, I don't know, kind of for me personally, and I believe that a lot of women believe that we have to prove ourselves to somebody. Like, we have to prove that we can do it without the epidural. And honey, you do not have to prove yourself to anybody. Modern medicine is an incredibly beautiful thing and take advantage of it. <laughs> uh, for me, it was a total night and day difference after I got the epidural. I waited till I was nine centimeters dilated and I was already 20 minutes into my natural labor, which is something I wanted. Um, was because I was trying to prove myself or it was more I was trying to prove it to myself that I could do it but honestly getting the epidural was such an amazing decision because I could not feel anything and contractions are no joke so my advice to you would be just get the epidural <laughs> but if you don't that's awesome too tip number five would be to bring your own pillow pillow snob I guess you could say I am never as comfortable on just random pillows I had like a memory foam one so the one I use helps me sleep better and so you're gonna be staying in a hospital probably two or three nights if this is your first baby and having your own pillow is gonna make you just that much more comfortable while you're there so I highly recommend bringing your own pillow tip number six is to pack light and just wear the gas that they provide or of course, if you bring your own cute hospital gown, you can wear that too. But don't overthink like bringing your own clothes, like five different outfits so you can change. You're really not, at least I didn't want to wear <laughs> anything tight or like pants in general. They give you hospital gowns that you can literally live in the whole time you're there. And I did. So the hospital gown's gonna be the most comfortable thing to wear when you're really uncomfortable, swollen, and kind of in pain after your labor. And especially if you're bleeding, you're not gonna want to wear your own clothes and get them bloody and dirty, just being real. <laughs> Tip number seven is don't get too stressed or worked up 
over your birth plan because when it really comes down to it we don't have all that much control over how things pan out so be flexible and open-minded and mentally prepare yourself for any possible outcome so that ah, she's playing her piano <laughs> so that you aren't disappointed or sad about your birthing experience and how things played out so I would really really encourage you to do a pelvic <laughs> I'm sorry if this noise in the background bothers you, but she doesn't want to go anywhere else. She wants to be right at my feet, of course. <laughs> so, I would really encourage you to do pelvic floor and transverse abdominus exercises to strengthen your pushing muscles and to avoid getting diastasis recti, which is something I have had to fight the past year. It's actually just a separation of your ab muscles and it's something that can avoid by doing certain exercises throughout your whole pregnancy. The exercises you can do is you'll want to push out your tummy muscles and then push out all your air and flex your ab muscles as hard as you possibly can, pulling in your butt, belly button towards your spine and really flexing, especially for me, it's my lower abs that I've had to work really hard to gain core strength and I'm still working on getting my diastasis recti corrected and Rosalie is 15 months old. So it's something that I would really, really encourage you to be doing throughout your whole pregnancy just to strengthen those pushing muscles and help your postpartum recovery go that much smoother. Also, exercising in general is just really, really good to help with your labor process. So make sure you are getting in your exercise to have a strong, strong body for this labor you're about to go through. They don't call it labor because it's easy. <laughs> Tip number nine is to not worry about pooping on the table. <laughs> I know so many women are so nervous that they're gonna poop on the table, but let me tell you, the nurses and doctors are not gonna be like, oh, she pooped on the table, somebody wipe it up. <laughs> no, they're not gonna tell you that it happened. They're not even gonna tell anybody in the room that it happened, so just don't worry about it happening because you're literally pushing a human out of yourself, so don't worry about that happening. If it happens, it happens, forget about it. And my tenth and final tip is to trust your instincts because we as women are made to do this. Our bodies were designed by God to do this amazing miracle. Do you wanna come up here, crazy? And so really don't um, fight your instincts. If you feel like you need to push, push and if you feel like you need to squat, squat. If you feel like it's going to help to bounce on a ball, do it. Like do what you have to do when you feel like you need to do it. <laughs> it's really just that simple and because your body was created for this. So you got this mama and you're gonna rock it. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single weekend and don't to click the notification bell so you never miss a new video by me. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Say bye. Say bye. Blow a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> that was a weak one. Go. Mwah. Mwah. That's mama, huh? It's a baby. 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 Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. So so chunky, huh? Do, 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 do. I love you, honey. The baby, the baby you're gonna get at the end of this is gonna be so worth it. So happy for you. I am. Say bye bye. Blow a kiss. Good girl. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.